former Minister of Aviation and Lawyer, Femi Fanekayodi, has revealed through his Twitter page the statement of the Minister of Information in Nigeria, Mr. Lai Mohamed. Mr. Kayode revealed that the minister said no Nigeria is hungry due to the claimed disbursement of 100 billion naira to the poor in Nigeria. According to Femi Fani Kayode, Lai Mohamed says no one is hungry in Nigeria because the federal government has disbursed 100 billion naira to them for food. Now I can, now I am convinced that he is one of those that is being used as a guinea pig for Big Gates new COVID-19 vaccine. He has been injected and it has affected his mind badly, says Kanye D. The federal government might have shared sex money, whatever amount it might be, but it may not be totally right for the minister to make such statement that no one is hungry in Nigeria. A very good example to show that the, the statements of minister, of minister may not be true is the numerous account numbers you would see in the comments in the comment section whenever a notable uh, makes a post we really hope our government look beyond politics and help make people's life better hmm. 100 billion naira has been uh, shared or disbursed so no one is hungry of course that is what they are always saying because they themselves they are overfed I think a minister of a Greek said the other time that uh, every nobody is hungry. He said the same thing that there's surplus of food, and when everybody knows that <laughs> there is nothing on ground since 2015, the alarm has you know been blowing a lot of people, and now he's saying that uh, he's coming out to say they've disbursed 100 billion. Now the Senate is asking them, where did you get your data? Let us see everything. Let us see what you are using paying people. Won't you? We see. And they are, they are telling us that uh, because of uh, the program they had before and they, they selected some people and those ones are in their own database, those are the people they disbursed money to. So, and those people, majority of the people are from the north that are getting those money. Now, they because they, I don't know what really happened that people did not even pay attention. It is now that everyone has to face the same thing at the same time. Now people are like, when did you guys do that program that you left some regions and you know concentrated only on one region okay even if it is that region that you disburse the money to or you feel that we have more poor people in that zone or that region then let us see the database and they began to tell us a uh, different stories that uh, uh, by law you are not supposed to expose the people that uh, are in the category of poor people before you know it, a lot of uh, places started got getting bonds and what have you. You know, you can imagine that kind of a thing. 100 billion naira. Where? And a lot of people have been saying, where did you share the money? Use the normal source or the normal avenue to share the money to people. Instead of all this uh, going from places to places to be giving them food and relief materials and what have you. I think... Uh, I would say NGOs should be doing that. You know, the reason why the whole thing is really complicated, honestly, and that is the fact, because we don't have structure in place. And we've been saying this over and over again, we don't have structure in place, so it will be so difficult. Even if they try to do that, it will be so difficult because it will not go around. I heard from a, a Lagos state government saying that, oh, they just, out of a, how many million people do we have in Lagos? Close to 20 million, according to statistics. But the government is saying they are just going to cater for 200,000 people. Then <laughs> there's no job done. Even the 200,000 people, how do you get to know that, okay, these are the people that really need this money? How do you go about the their database and what have you? And they are using some, some, I don't know, some sector. I don't know, people who really got, uh, uh, registered their houses with the government, I don't know how they do it. Those who are paying tenement rates and what have you. And also, they've sent, they call them Lazra, land user, something stuff. They sent numbers to those people that they are going to be giving them food and sending them just to confirm if that is the address they use in registering themselves, if they are still in that address. Some got the uh, the message, the, alarm, uh, the test message, and which they confirmed. But up to now, the first uh, lockdown, you know, it's already gone. We are in into we are not into the second lockdown. They've not seen gotten what the government promised them. I mean Lagos State government promised them. So what are we talking about? And now they have come again to tell us that uh, the federal government is disbursing has started a the distribution of a uh, all the disbursement of twenty thousand naira. How are they going to do all of these things? Because things are not in place. 
Even they themselves, they are overwhelmed because they don't know how to, how they are going to uh, get everybody involved. Even the 200,000 people, they cannot even say, oh, these are the people we gave to. And they were asking some of them, some of the Lagos state government officials that, okay, the we learned that your those people who went to distribute some um, uh, food items, they were asked that anybody they want to give uh, all those food items, they will be asking of their card, their, they, uh, which party do you belong to, where is your card and what have you. So the one of the government officials was like, oh, it's not, that is not the way to go, that they should try and get a proof that if any of their people or any of their local government chairman, because not even local governments, they say councillors because they are the ones that are really closer to the people. Believe you me, I don't think councillor, all this councillor, councillorship or something is working in our country. Even local government, they are not even working. Who even who knows how many people know their their local government chairman? How many of them? How many people know they're not to talk of councillor? They don't allow them to function. It's only the governor that you people can even talk about, and it's very, very very, very, very unfortunate. They don't want all those people to function because it would have been so easy if they can trace all of everybody down to their to their uh, uh, local places where they can meet their councillors. Because from councillors, you have already been able to you have you know you be able to bring down the governors to that uh, local level. But even the governments at the state will not allow those people to function. And that's why you see that a lot of things are not just in place. You know, in this uh, this uh, COVID-19 has been able to expose them because a lot of all this is, they ought to have done them, but they've been dodging them. But now they cannot escape it. Now, like Mohammed can now tell us that uh, no one is hungry in Nigeria because Andre Billionaire, you know, has been disbursed. Then everybody should just go and sleep. So stop complaining. Stop complaining. Oh, the unfortunate thing there is that these people know how things work in this country because they've been in this country, you know, all their life. It's not as if maybe they were born somewhere or they just came all of a sudden. They have been in this country all their life. They know how things work from the grassroots. But as soon as they get to that top, where they occupy one position or the other, they forget every other thing. They forget every other thing. They, would, they would start behaving as if they are, they are foreigners. It's unfortunate. Uh, someone says, if uh, Mr. Lai Mohammed, I will not talk again for at least six months because this course that people are giving is too much unless if you are not ordinary person, including me. Igbo people say that better uh, say Igbo people say that better name always states with God. What did you ex do you expect from someone uh like a uh, Lai Mohammed? Lai Mohammed, what a shame. At this your age, you should be undoing uh, your wrongs instead of, instead you are adding to the evil you are doing. Someone say, a fool at 40 is, is food forever. Let a quick consume you there. Lai Mohammed, you are really, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You are a corrupt politician that could have been forgotten, but to date, you decide to remain there and die with cheap lies and you are known, the cheap lies that you are known for. Let me ask you one good question. When will it be your children turn to rule? When will it be your children turn to rule? Be careful. Lai Mohammed, do you normally read people's comments that follows whatever things you see? You are occupying a position that could be better handled by someone that is more truthful, more reliable, and someone that has some shame. Why is it that you must add some lie in everything you see? If you tell the world that you have spent 100 billion era on your loved ones in nigeria it will be understandable the people you hate are yet to receive the money must you lie about everything like muhammad god will visit you that old man called like muhammad is on tramadol this man is old enough so he cannot be thinking well again his brain is old and empty uh, someone says, Life may, may the good Lord see you through, even in grave. Abba, old man like you, they open eyes, they lie for Nigeria citizens. Hmm, they lie for their head. What we didn't chop, may God release, uh, may God really see you through. Hmm, nobody's praying, praying for him, that God should even see him through. And it's the same line, Mohammed, that went to NCA to say, Oh, it was not the federal government that invited the Chinese doctors, that they just volunteered to come out of their own volition. They just came. And, and that's it. That people should just stop all this uh, issue of uh, 
the government or the federal government invited him. Well, that's what he has been saying. But that's a, a different story entirely. But according to what Lai Mohammed is saying, 100 billion has been disbursed. So no Nigerian is hungry. People should stop complaining. So have you received your money? Let us know in the comment section.